Hello folks, welcome back. In this tutorial, we'll go ahead and talk about types of relationship. Through this relationship, we are trying to address the issue where we want to figure out which candidate has applied for which position or which candidate has applied for how many position and how many positions are applied by how many candidates. So all these issues will be addressed through the relationship. So there are three different types of relationships that are available in Salesforce. Lookup relationship, master detail relationship and many to many relationship. So let's start with the lookup relationship. In the lookup relationship, it's a very loosely coupled relationship between two objects. Now, in this relationship, when you delete the parent, child will not be deleted. What do you mean by parent and what do you mean by child? So let's take two examples. Let's take for one particular manager, he can have multiple positions under him. He can handle multiple positions. So in this case, there is a one to many relationship between a hiring manager and a position object. So in this case, wherever there is a many, that becomes the child object and wherever there is one, that is the parent object. So in this case, hiring manager and the position, since one manager can handle multiple position, so hiring manager is the parent object and the position is the child object. Similarly, in this next second example, manager and employee. One manager can have multiple employees in his team, but one employee cannot have multiple managers at a time. So in this case, there is a one to many relationship between manager and employee. So in this case, the manager is the parent object and employee is the child object. Let's take the third example. In this case, we have a position and a job application object. So through there can be multiple job applications for one position. But through one job application, we cannot reference to multiple position. Let's say if me, uh, Deepika, has applied to a Java developer position or a Salesforce developer position, there can be, there can be another uh, guy named John who can also apply for the same Salesforce developer position. So there can be different job applications for one single position. But, if, but just me, just Deepika, I cannot apply to the two different position through one job application. I can write two different job application and I can apply to two different position, but through one job application, I cannot apply through multiple positions. So in this case, there is also one to many relationship between a position and job application and position becomes the parent object and job application is the child object. So where, where is this relationship field will go? The relationship field, the lookup field will always go on the child object, no matter what type of relationship it is. Is it a lookup relationship or a master detail relationship or any other kind of relationship? The relationship field will always go on the child object. So in this case, let's do some practice and create a relationship between a hiring manager and position. So first thing is, let's go back to our app and let's go ahead and create a relationship field. So in this case, position and the hiring manager. So hiring manager, it's a user object, which is a standard Salesforce object. So we don't have to create a separate user object. So in this case, position and the user, the position is the child object. So the relationship field will always go on the child object. So look up relationship field, go on the position object. So we'll go ahead and create a new field on the position object. And the type of that field will be a lookup relationship field. Go ahead and click next. And it is related to the user object. So this is the, these are the objects that are Salesforce provide. So by default, we have a user object. And the label I can give as the hiring manager. So this is available to all the profiles. Click next and go ahead and click save. So we have created a relationship between the position and that user object. So if you go back in the schema builder, you will see a position object. If you select the position object and the user object here, you will see there is a relationship that got created between the position and the user object. So this is what we're talking about. So now if you go back to the setup and if you go back to the position object and we try to create a new, there will be a new field added named as hiring manager. 
if you click on the new to want to create a new record you will see a hiring manager feed and if you click on this magnified glass next to it you will see all the users of this application right now we only have Deepika as a user so you'll only see Deepika as the user here now next thing is let's go ahead and talk about another object which is the job application since that job application object is not available we'll go ahead and create one so create a new job application object the plural label will be job applications here job application name and I wanted to launch a tab for it so I'll go ahead and click save click next it's visible to all these profiles click next I don't want to include this tab in all the applications I just want it under the recruiting application so I'll go ahead and click save so in this case I've created a job application object and it has a bunch of standard fields and there is no custom relationship field so we can go ahead and create the custom fields now let's say in the job application I wanted to add a field named as cover letter so that will be a text area long click next and name it as cover letter save and new so now we are trying to create this relationship between the position and the job application object we just created a job application object so job application is a child object and position is the parent so the relationship field will go on the child object so the relationship field will go on the job application object so we'll go ahead and create a lookup relationship between the job application and the position object so it's related to the position object so you can select the position from the drop down and click next visible click next and save so we have created a relationship between job application and position so now if you go back to the job application object if you click on the new you will see these three fields added here job application name is the standard field that got added when we created the object cover letter and position are the custom fields so now if you click on this magnified glass next to the position so now you can figure out okay so this is the these are the positions so I can create a job application for these many positions so in this tutorial we have talked about we have created a new object we have talked about lookup relationship we'll continue working on this in our next video tutorial till then stay tuned and thank you